So what exactly are Schwab's intelligent portfolios? You know, we live in a day and age when we have so many different investing options available to us. We have the ability to invest in some traditional options such as TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Fidelity, Vanguard, but there has been an explosion of so many different other types of investment options such as Robinhood, M1 Finance, Betterment, and so many others. But Schwab has a different investment option available and those are called Schwab Intelligent portfolios. You might be thinking to yourself, what are intelligent portfolios? And of course, as I was looking into it, I had some questions myself, such as what are Schwab's intelligent portfolios? How do they work? What are the investments they use in them? Is it right for me? I'm going to answer all of those questions in this video. And make sure to stick around all the way to the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you what these Schwab Intelligent Portfolios are, how they are set up, how they work and function, what are the underlying investments that are in these Intelligent Portfolios, and ultimately the biggest question you have which is, is this right for me? Make sure to stick around all the way to the end to find out. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe. And on this channel we talk about all things personal finance that affect people like you and me, the average Joe. So whether it's budgeting your finances, how to pay off your consumer debt as quickly as possible, how to build your credit and manage credit cards safely and responsibly, and of course, how to invest your money for the long term, this channel is your one-stop shop. So we live in a day and age where YouTubers are constantly trying to reinvent and find new and creative ways to ask their audience to hit the like button such as make sure you hit that thumbs up button below because it's, it's kind of like a virtual high five even just a smash of the like button now you don't need to break your phone i'm not asking you to destroy your computer trying to smash the like button instead just a gentle tap and you are good to go so instead of doing something shameful such as please 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 hit the like button i'm just gonna say hey i worked hard on the video i spent quite a bit of time to get all the details so if you find some value or you learn something new go ahead and hit that like button below are we good now Let's get started on the video. Okay, so what exactly is Schwab's Intelligent Portfolios? Well, if I could sum it up for you in one word, it would be Robo Advisor. That's correct. It operates a lot like Betterment, but as you're going to find out, it's a little bit different as well. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with either Schwab's Intelligent Portfolios or investment options like Betterment, a Robo Advisor is essentially a computerized investing platform, meaning they will make decisions on the investments that are in your portfolio based on who you are as well as how you happen to handle risk. You see, everybody handles risk a little bit differently. Some people don't really feel risk or are concerned about risk at all. People like uh, 50 on black, please. Come on, Vex. Red, 25. Red win. Every single person lands differently on the risk scale. You've got some people that take a ton of risks and are okay with that. And you've got others that think they're okay with risk, but they're actually not. And then there are a lot of people that know that they are not okay with risk at all when it comes to their money. And they want to feel confident that their money is not going to go on a turbulent ride while it's invested. Okay, so how exactly does Schwab's Intelligent Portfolios actually work? So if you were to go onto Schwab's website and actually start signing up for the Intelligent Portfolio program, it will walk you through a questionnaire of sorts. They will ask you questions such as, how do you handle risk? How comfortable do you feel with the idea that your portfolio could go up or down by 30 or 40 percent? What would your reaction be if tomorrow your money was worth half of what it was yesterday? Now obviously nobody likes that, but every single person has a different type of reaction to that kind of volatility and risk when it comes to their money. So this questionnaire is important because it helps Schwab and their program determine what type of investments they're going to put your money into. And it's actually kind of cool because it shows you real time the different allocation of assets, whether it's stocks or bonds or other types of investments, depending on your risk tolerance. Now, once you finish your risk questionnaire and you are comfortable with the portfolio that they've set up for you, then you can start to invest in these portfolios and they will rebalance over time to make sure that they stay within that specific allocation. So if it started at stocks 40% and bonds 60%, then they will rebalance automatically on your behalf without you taking any action to make sure that they stay balanced with the allocation that you signed up for. Okay, so let's go over some quick facts about the Schwab Intelligent Portfolios that you probably want to know about. You have to have a minimum of $5,000 in order to be eligible 
for joining this platform. Now the way that Betterment operates is that they will charge the investor a 0.25% management fee. That is not how Schwab operates. They actually charge no specific management fees in and of themselves, but they do have the underlying investments, the exchange traded funds, which we'll get to in just a second, that do have expense ratios and you will be responsible for paying those expenses. Now you will be happy to know, as I think we are always happy to know, that Schwab offers 24 seven live support from where? Inside the United States. Woohoo! Now you might be thinking to yourself, especially if you know just a little bit about investing and exchange traded funds and other types of investments, that's great that they have allocated my investments for me, but what are those investments? So Schwab clearly identifies on their website that they utilize exchange traded funds as the underlying investments in their intelligent portfolios. They have been able to narrow down the types of investments from, I don't know, 1800 or 2000 down to 53 different exchange traded funds over 20 different types of asset classes. Now it took a ton of digging into the prospectus as well as the website just to find the actual selection criteria for these specific ETFs and what they actually are. Schwab indicates on their website that there are four specific elements they looked at when determining which ETFs to include and which ones do not include. The main selection criteria were the amount of assets under management or AUM, the exchange traded fund liquidity, meaning how actively traded are these shares? Would Schwab be able to get into and out of these investments rather quickly or not? How closely do these ETFs track the index they're supposed to be tracking? As well as, of course, limiting costs, which is looking at expense ratios. Now Schwab also does something a little bit unique. They have two specific exchange traded funds for each asset class. They have a primary ETF and a secondary ETF. Now one of the things that Schwab indicates on their website is that to allow for the benefit of tax loss harvesting, the primary and the secondary exchange traded funds do not track the exact same index. I found this very hard to believe. So I pulled a Ronald Reagan. Trust and verify. I looked at Schwab's US large company asset class. The primary ETF in this asset class is the SCHX Schwab US large cap. ETF, and the secondary is Vanguard's VOO, which is the Vanguard S&P 500 index fund. There are 746 holdings in the Schwab ETF, and of course, 500 in Vanguard's S&P 500. And guess what? They don't come out and say it, but the top 10 holdings, are the same. Shut the front door. Now I'm not saying that Schwab is outright lying because I'm sure their legal team would be quick to counter and say, well, technically by the letter of the law, these two do not track the same index. This no passy, the smell test. But I wanted to give Schwab a second chance here because I actually like this Schwab intelligent portfolio concept. So I checked a second asset class. I did check the small US company asset class, and I did find that the primary and secondary ETFs here did technically track different indexes. So all is fine in the world, let's move on. Now one of the benefits that Schwab is selling on the website is tax loss harvesting. Now what tax loss harvesting actually means is that the investment company on your behalf, they're going to look at your investments and see which ones have large gains, which you're going to have to account for on your federal taxes if this is a non-retirement account. And they're also going to look at which of your investments are doing poorly and they will look to sell some of those poorly performing assets to offset some of the gains in your other investments. Now for the record, this service is only available with Schwab's intelligent portfolios if you have at least $50,000 invested. And I'm actually not that big of a fan of tax loss harvesting. The reason why we are investing in the stock market is for long-term growth for our investments. So I rarely look to sell poorly performing assets because the ones I'm holding are likely there for the long term. And these poorly performing assets are likely paying dividends, which I am looking to reinvest, and you should too, by the way, to help grow your portfolio. Schwab's Intelligent Portfolios supports general brokerage accounts, as well as IRA accounts, as well as custodial accounts for minors, and even trust accounts. Okay, so the real question you might be thinking to yourself is, is this right for me? Should I be utilizing Schwab's Intelligent Portfolios for my own accounts for investing? And the answer is, maybe. I do think that pulling the trigger and utilizing Schwab's Intelligent Portfolios 
portfolios is not a bad idea. If you are focused on investing as much money as you can, but when it comes down to the actual details, you're kind of more of a hands-off type of person. You don't want to necessarily know all the details, or you don't really care about the specific index funds or exchange traded funds that you want to invest in. It's all about how much money you're putting in, and this might be a great solution for you because this service, as well as the expense ratios that underlie the specific investments, are lower than what you will pay with Betterment. Now, for me, I'm actually seriously considering moving half of my emergency fund into a Schwab Intelligent Portfolio and looking to invest in a little bit less volatile investments such as bonds and maybe a small amount of stocks that I can actually liquidate if I need to and then keeping the other half of my emergency fund in a high yield savings account. So if I do actually pull the trigger and open up a Schwab Intelligent Portfolio account, I will of course show you all the details and what I actually chose. Hey, so now is your turn to drop your two cents in the comments below. Are you currently using Schwab's Intelligent Portfolios? And if yes, what has your experience been so far? If you're not currently using this service, are you considering it? And if so, did you learn something new from this video? Lastly, if there's any other personal finance topics you would love to hear more about on this channel, make sure to let me know which of those topics you'd love to see and drop your two cents in the comments below. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button below and click on that notification bell to be alerted to all of my videos that I put out on this channel which are usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays sometimes that bleeds into Wednesdays and Fridays because my life is quite hectic right now when you factor in being married having four kids having a puppy and also you know working full-time hey if you help blow up this channel I'll quit my job and do it full-time and hey if you want to learn more right now well then click on these videos right over there <laughs>